Hello, I wrote a poem for Elliot Roger and so many other people who feel isolated and who have snapped and who might snap in the future and who are trapped in a paralysis of non-communication and segregating themselves away into total isolation. So here's the poem. Girls gone wild, alcohol, glowing rods and mouth, butterfly tattoos to lure in the opposite gender, procreation craze, me, 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 elbowing, screaming, whiskey poured into anorexic girls' mouths by DJs, greed, he knows what sells, loud noises, total insanity, I see you all, the populous body, scum, a volcano is swelling up in my solar plexus. I dream at night of rising to the ceiling. Unempowerment, stuckness. The walls are caving in. My hand reaches out, but in reality it never did. I run in my dreams and never reach my goal. Treadmill walking. I talk and no sound is heard. Noble mind never understood, falling under the radar of everyone. I feel very much for all of these people that are trapped in isolation and that, are, that feel incapable of reaching out and communicating with other people and that don't un understand other people and that don't feel like they are part of the group. They don't feel like they they fit in in any way. And I don't know what the reason for that is. There could be physical reasons, biological reasons, anatomical reasons. There could be also, that could be heightened intelligence level actually, that where people are socially more intelligent actually, and they see through the structure of the populist body and they reject it because they don't identify with it in any way. So it's very hard for them to communicate, you know, on this very shallow level that most people are communicating at. You know, it's like I when I go to the store I am fascinated. I watch people when they interact. And I see them there's at such ease, you know, when the strangers that are doing some small talk at the cash register, like they're they're so easy going when they talk to each other, like ha 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 honey with that old smoker voice. Honey, you know I live in this trailer and the heater doesn't work. <laughs> yeah man, yeah, tell me about it. Hey <laughs> oh, they're having a really good time, you know. And it's hard for me to communicate because I notice that as soon as I will open my mouth and say something, it will, even if I try to level myself on that same level, it doesn't come across as genuine somehow. They, they, they notice, they, they don't feel it consciously, it's sub very subconscious. And they feel like, what is she trying to do, you know? <laughs> so it's like, wherever I go, wherever I talk to people, it's like, who's that? What does she want? Um, and then I get misunderstood. I, I get people think I'm some kind of wildlife patrol person or, <laughs> or some kind of forest ranger or even in a pink outfit, they will think, think that because just because I'm so different, you know, be just because I have a much more sober way of thinking and addressing things. I'm accused of being a dyke, but that's not what it is. It's, um, I have a very feminine brain. It's, it's just that I 
I just see through all of this and because I see through I can't I can't function on that same base you know it just is impossible for me to do and I think that applies to a lot of other people too who are afflicted with this type of dilemma situation communication with others the people who I communicate best with are people who are completely open-minded, completely understanding, and very f there are very few people, very, very few. And if I meet someone who even talks and talks and talks for an hour, I've met those type of people. I welcome those people. I love it when people talk a lot, when I don't have to do any entertainment, when I can just sit there in the jacuzzi and listen to the other lady rant, rant and rave and talk, mm -hmm. as long as it is all on my ethics level, okay? So she can talk as much as she wants to, if it's about love and if it's, even if it's complaining about her life, I listen, I listen forever. Uh, those are the people I can connect with. I run into those very rarely. Mm -hmm. And those are also the people who will not find any fault with me. They will just accept me the way I am. And they are th it wouldn't even occur to them that I'm somehow a strange weirdo. I'm just, to them, I'm just a nice, kind-hearted, uh, lovely, understanding woman. And it feels so refreshing when I meet people like this. Oh gosh, I wish I wish to meet people like this. I really do. Yeah. But it's hard to find those type of people, particularly when I live in a in a small town in, in the rural United States. It's extremely hard to find those type of people. Those type of people, they don't linger around much in those type of areas. They They don't have anything to do there. It's, it doesn't give them anything. They move on. They usually move to areas like San Francisco, Marine County, or Eugene, or Portland, those type of areas, yeah. or maybe LA even. But they don't hang out in in rural places or even in suburbs, so because yeah, it's just because of this mindset of, of this this very reactionary mindset that most people have. For them, it is. Um, I've seen it on YouTube. There was a guy once. He said, "Those hippies, those they want peace, and it's all. Uh, they all want to be lovey, lovey, lovey with one another." And I said to him, what's wrong with peace and love for everybody? Something wrong with that? Even a guy at the post office said, uh, he was laughing about the stamps I was buying. and They had peace sign on it. He said, a pink peace. I said, what's wrong with peace? And then he didn't know what to say. So it's like I encounter this quite frequently on the internet, you know, when libertarians or republicans or tea party type of people when they complain about the the hippie mindset you know of, of of loving people they just it doesn't sit well with them this mindset of being open but the mindset of being open goes against the ego the ego doesn't like it because ego likes to have struggle and conflict and that's what Adi Ashanti also is talking about a lot. You know, the ego doesn't want to let go of all of this. E Eckhart Tolle talks about this as well. And many other people talk about it. Pema Children talks about it. So yeah, yeah this is um I just I just wish people would start to think more about these things and and not look at the the idols but look more within and listen more to 
those type of people like Eckhart or Adyashanti or Pema Chodron. This is very important. Another person, Jiddu Krishnamurti, who is rather difficult to understand for most people, that's what I've seen, that's what I noticed. But Eckhart and Adyashanti and Pema Chodron, they bring it to a more understandable, layperson understandable level. And so that's why I want people to listen to those videos instead and draw something out of them, something that is wholesome, that is nutritious, that's holistic. So, take care.